Hey guys, Frame Frey here, and welcome to the 51st episode of my Let's Play of Reaper Nerds and Allies 4 as Germany. We are going to probably challenge the Coalition today. We've been kind of just chilling. And I don't know why, because it doesn't even matter how hard... No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what we're going to do, though. We might. We have our, our vassal here, ready to eat Russia. We have our vassal here, ready to eat Ottomans. We have our vassal here, ready to eat... The uh, French, and then we have a vassal up here ready to eat Denmark. But I just don't know what we're going to do. You know what? I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go to war with Denmark. And the reason why is because we're going to give back a lot of Finnish cores. So we're going to declare the coalition war with Denmark. Hopefully they'll remain war leader. Maybe not, but it's okay. Because we're going to demand uh, the release cores. The good thing about this is that it's not going to give us any more aggressive expansion. All it's going to do is, you know not even anything at all. It doesn't piss anybody off actually besides make Finland love us more. So I don't see why not. So let's declare war on Denmark. Let's do that. As soon as we get a diplomat. We already got our relation in Luxembourg, right? Yeah, let's cancel that. Create a fortress. Attack Russia. Well, we're probably going to be doing that. So let's declare war on Germany, or Denmark, <laughs> not Germany, that's us. Alright, and we're going to go for taking Finn. The reason why I'm going to say take Finn is just because it's the closest one and we'll get the overall, the, you know, ticking war score in our favor. Alright, so we're going to take on the huge freaking coalition now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get our boats over here in, on the attack. We're going to send, spend 50 military points just to do war taxes. And we should just be making plenty of money. Great. Alright, so now we're at war. Looks like Russia took over war leadership. Alright, we're going to nullify the Ottomans. By dropping off troops here. Um, do we have generals? No. Two generals. One for you. And one for you, sir. Alright. Alright, and we're just going to start sieging up. Okay, we got to attack Russia. Is there going to be a crush Russia mission? Rule the seas? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, well, we got to Finn. Good. Uh, we can move these troops in up here. Remove our troops in here. We're going to give them the general, a general over here. And we're going to start sieging as well. And then our vassals should be able to take care of France. That's what I'm going to leave them to do. The shitty part is that Russia took over war leadership. I would have rather had France be the war leader. But whatever. Yeah, it looks like our vassals are just going to swarm them. That's fine. Okay, and we're pushing the uh, these Turkish bastards out of here. Let's just have these extra troops go stand there just because, you know, to reinforce the border. Yeah, we'll send these guys as well. Nah, you know what? We can stay back here. Alright, we won the Battle of Constantinople. Good. <sighs> Poor Russia. Did not know what they were going to get into, huh? And Russians, Russia's troops are probably far away. But look at that. We have over twice the amount of troops that they have total. Yeah, let's stop them from going there. Yeah, we have way, way, way more morale than they do, so we should be fine. And it looks like they brought a nice general for us to use. Alright, 
All right, I don't no reports of Russian activity, no Russian activity at all. We'll send these guys over to siege this province here. Our vassals are making short work of France, hopefully. Yeah, I don't even see France in this list. Nor is Denmark. Good news. Well, let's just make sure they don't pop up anywhere else. Russia's troops are what I'm afraid of. They have how many total? Two, three thousand, three hundred thousand. Okay. I mean, they're they're the wrong tech, and or sorry, not the wrong tech, but the wrong. Uh, they're not Western, so we do have the advantage. But they do have one tech ahead of us, and they got actually some more shock. But we should still be like way better, even though they're one tech ahead. It shouldn't even matter. So what's our missions here? No, no good ones. It's okay. All right, well, we're just going to continue on then with the sieges. Wow, look at France just get wrecked. Jesus, our vassals are so scary. Yeah, and I don't even see one army of Russia's yet. Which is kind of scary. But it doesn't really matter, honestly, because we're just going to wreck them. I don't care when their army shows up. Or even if it does at all. All right. Let's just make sure that we let's just siege all of it at once, and then we don't have to worry about it about micromanaging that. I don't like how the Denmark. How does the how does the Danish have so many ships? It's freaking annoying as hell. Oh, so many sieges going on right now, it's like making me lag so bad. Oh, there's a Russian army. There's one. I bet you they're all the way over here fighting. Holy shit, they've been eating Ming and stuff. Damn, they're like really far into China over here. Wow. Oh well. Hopefully this will stunt their growth a little bit over there when we, uh, after we just trash them. Alright, so two sieges are over, and we'll just head on over to the other two. Why not? Ho ho ho. It still bothers me, though, that we don't have any eyes on the enemy over here in Russia. And that I wish we'd siege up the main province, too. That'd be nice. But France is gone, and then of course, you know, once the uh, once their vassals finish off France, they're not going to have anything to do but to come and help us over here in Russia, which will make it a lot easier to siege Russia. I mean, I doubt we're not going to get to 100% with them, clearly, because it's just too much, too vast to siege all that shit, but we might get close. You know, we might take over to, like, where Uzbek is. And honestly, the things we could do to Russia, my god. Like, Chagtai, oh. Mongolia. Kazan. It's not that bad, actually. Sibir. Sibir, that would be sucky for them. But they'd probably just get it back. We can make them give back all these cores. Man. They got so many of other people. They got their stuff and everybody's shit. Huh. Damn. Looks like we were uh, ready to tech up here. No, we're still ahead one year, so we're not gonna. We're gonna wait. We'll just save our points up. Good, good. We got the target province. So now we can move these troops up to here, and they can keep on helping in sieging and stuff. Roll the seas or improve relations. Nah, we're not gonna do either of those things. Yeah, we could get a we could get a thing on Great Britain because they're not coming to our war, but I'm not trying to fight them right now. We probably have enough on our plate. I am liking the fact that the Russians are gone. It's kind of nice. 
Ooh, shit. I just saw this. Four smart your asses in there. I can't believe the Ottomans are still losing, though, even though they're coming with that, with so many, so the biggest number advantage ever. Ooh, and they were just putting more meat to the slaughter. Wow, look at that. Okay, so we lost. We had how many total casualties? We had like, oh, they actually didn't kill, we, we lost more men than they did. Oh no, they lost a lot of artillery that we didn't lose. Okay. Yeah, I'll take these 22,000 back for a breach of respite. Respite? 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 I guess that's what it's called. <sighs> I'm dumb, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're sieging up Denmark. I wonder if we're going to be even able to make Denmark give back course because they're not the war leader. Prob I bet you not. That's going to suck. Mm. I mean, we could always punish Russia. I don't know. If we take out their army, I bet you that the... Uh, yeah, I hope the Russians will just somehow get their army over here so that we can kill it. And then all their little, uh, all their conquests that they've had in the past will smell the blood in the water and come to get their revenge. Like, I mean, Ming, you know, is kind of, kind of fucked up right now because they're, you know, they're getting beaten by Zhou. But I mean, you know, I had Haya. They could come in and help and Shan and Oriat, you know, they want to get their cores back. Oh, poor Japan. Just getting like we're just getting raped. Oh, we won in Novgorod apparently. Oh well, we'll just chill while we do our sieges. Oh, sieges are over. Good. Ah, oh, nice. We got Constantinople. Oh, we can actually get to the other part of the Ottomans now because we can actually just walk. That's that's good. Let's siege up the Ottomans. As soon as, of course, after we finish these things over here. But, I mean, we'll eventually want to go around and, I guess, siege them on this side. It's really too, just too damn bad that we can't individually piece out all these guys. France is going to be done. Yep, all these sieges are getting very close to being done. We'll get Moscow as well. It's I think we'll try to go get that right now, Muscova. Um, is it time yet to do this? No, we're still one year ahead. That's fine, let's just keep rolling on 5 speed while we're doing all these sieges. Kolm and Bryansk is done. Yep, we're going to do what Hitler never could and what Napoleon tried to do, but also never could. We're going to make it to Moscow in the winter as Germany. So not not that that part doesn't really, I guess, apply to Napoleon, but still, you know, very impressive for us. Now let's see that we've got some things sieged. Why is Finland... Sieging for themselves. That's really weird because they're a vassal, but they they've occupied this territory. That makes no sense to me. All of our sieges have completed over here, so we'll send in these troops. Oh shit.
I wonder, so like you hold shift if you want more, like so you so you hold shift to grab more troops, but how do you grab less? Like if I, gra I grabbed one too many or something like that, I wonder how you get rid of them in the selection. More troops. Moving up. Still sort of bothers me so slightly to a lot that the uh, Russian soldiers hasn't come. But you know, we're, we're doing the Schlieffen plan basically right now where we're taking out uh, France first and then, you know, while Russia warms up, uh, we'll, then we'll move the main, our extra super awesome vassal sieging force back to fight over here, which makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So I wonder what everybody else in the world is doing because they can't, there's no, there's no one to be at war with. Because we're we've, we're tying everyone up right now, the entire world. I mean, besides like you know, Ethiopia, which is pretty big and badass. Jesus. <sighs> is it time to do this yet? No, the Rotterham, the Rotherham plow is not not time till next year. But that's fine, it's already December, we'll just wait, and then exactly when it's time, we'll do it. It's almost time, so... Uh, there we go. We lost the Battle of Tula. Oh. Hello. There is the Russian army, or at least some of it. Now let's um. What were we gonna? Ah shit! What was it? Oh, we had a we finished a siege, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think Raval is the uh, it's the most important one because the core is gonna go away soon, or in eighteen oh one. But you know, still, that's kind of soon, relatively. Moria, stun. Moria, like the uh, the dwarfs, the dwarfs place in Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna fight these Russians. Uh, bye bye Russian army. Let's see, their tactics are really their their morale is pretty good. Their uh, discipline's all right, and their tactics are pretty good as well. But um, you know, we're, we've obviously still got the advantage in both those things. So even though we've got minus two, we're still going to win the fights. And now we should have them scurrying. Bye bye Muscovy. Or Russia. Send you there, and then you can just keep on doing your siege there. Send him to Rome or make him a bishop. Well, we already have enough prestige, so we might as well just get some more free influence in the papacy. Why not? Here comes some more vassals. There's Cologne coming. France is, is so done. France is just, just it's so sad looking at this, because you know that's we we, used, we that was my first let's play ever. Was this France? Good times. Good times. Now we can just drop siege armies off. Same here. We're gonna try to attack the uh where are these guys going? They're going to Maroon. To Merman. Okay, let's try to kill them before they get out of there. Yeah, the Russians are the only people that are a threat now, since we murdered all the um, all the other troops, all the Danish troops, and all the Ottoman troops, pretty much. How are they on the scale, Ottomans? They still have 160,000 troops left. Well, go fuck yourselves, stupid Ottomans. All right, and we're gonna try to catch as hard as we can. We're gonna try to catch this damn. Muscovy Russian army. 
Novgorod. Oh, six stability. Holy shit. Our victorious armies have managed to dispose of the foul revolutionary government and the proper in a grab. Oh, wow. Order has triumphed. Sweet, so we got. Oh, Jesus. That was awesome. Let me beat the shit out of that army. Let's force march more troops over because they got 52,000. So that, that's not going to be fun. We're going to want to try to get the numerical advantage every chance we can get when it comes to fighting with Russia. Just because they are sort of close, even though they're Eastern Eastern tech still. It's uh, you know going to be better if we just outnumber them, you know? The Ile de France, we got a revolt of peasants. Well, sure, go kill it. Be a good little vassals. Be a good little vassal swarm, damn it, and kill those guys. Well. Okay, well, we'll just uh, continue our death march into Russia. Just murdering everyone and everybody. We're gonna go try to help Venice and Achaea. They don't look like they need our help, though, which is good. And surprising at the same time. Although, we might get there still. No. Ooh, let's fight Let's fight these uh, the Ottomans right here. And then here comes a big army of, uh, of, of Russians. Yep, and we're still we're gonna start sending troops just to back up. I mean, so all of our troops pretty much made it through uh, Denmark are and are coming to help fight against Russia. Now that Russia's finally decided to figure out how to transport their troops here, but that's fine. Fine, Russia, you wanna you wanna play? You wanna have some fun? Bye-bye, Ottomans! There go the Ottoman scum. And uh, we'll stop force marching, because we don't need to be anymore. And we'll just hang out here in Penza. While the rest of our troops come over. Are they coming for us here? No, they're going to Nivzny Novgorod. Let's, uh, let's go try to circumvent them. Oh no, they're just gonna stay there now. We're gonna send these troops to come help, because there's like 200,000 Rus Russian soldiers over here. So, shit. Okay, we can't, we can't beat 200,000 without the help of these 56... Okay. So we'll force march them, and we can all meet in Merman, where we should be able to defeat the Russian menace there. And let's try not to take too much attrition. I mean, I know it's going to be hard to avoid any, and it's going to almost impossible. Actually, we're going to have to take some attrition, but. Still, we could do. A, we're gonna do our best to not take as much as possible. <sighs> All right, we're gonna merge our fleets here, and we're gonna use them to take out the Danes. Oh, and the Russians have some fleet up here too as well. Let's uh, let's port up. Let's stock up in Gotland for a second and give them a, a, a admiral. Wow, that was the shittiest admiral. I'm pretty sure we don't have that bad navy tradition as well. Oh no, our naval tradition is horrible. All 
All right, we're gonna corner the uh, the navy in here and kill them there. Okay, looks like they engaged us over here. Where are they going? To Belazero. Belazero. Can we get out? Okay, they're gonna get there on the twentieth of September, same day. So I think that means we get out in time. I'm not sure though. Let's pause it. Where are they headed now to Novgorod? Okay. We too shall head to Novgorod. Maybe not those guys. <laughs> Um, but it looks like we're doing a pretty good job cutting down the enemy troops. They have a lot less than they used to, and we don't have that many, many, they don't, we don't have that many less than they, than we used to. All the sieges down here are done. Let's send these 30,000 then over. Because these 54 look like they're doing a good job holding the border. And if the Ottomans ever get so bold again, then we'll just stop them again. Yeah, they only they have they can't beat us if they 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 only have like uh, they don't even have double our troops. So if they engaged us, we'd be fine. So they're going to Tulhorok. Okay, let's go there then. And it looks like we're going to beat them here. Oh, idiots! Not even with a leader. Ha! It looks like the uh, the Danish rallied amount an amount of troops. Interesting. To Zork, good. That was a, I think that was a fifty stack that we just squashed. Right, so you're gonna go up there and stop them, and then you're gonna come and make sure that no more Russian stacks are here. And I'll put it attached to this unit on so that our vassals know to come with us. Oh, here's 125 Russians. Never mind. Where are they going? To Slavics? Okay, um, let's just wait, let them. They have to go on December 2nd. All right, now I'll send my troops in. All right. If we can't get there in time, then we're going to back off. Okay. All right, I put the check mark on, but I don't think Finland's going to come help. We might not need it though. Alright, I don't think it's going to be a good idea to attack them, so what we're going to do is we're going to move away 50,000. To let them think that they can get away. We lost again. It's not good. We have 42 stacks standing over here, so... <sighs> so the Russians are still not afraid to attack me. Oh no, looks like they're coming. Alright, so I'll get these guys out of there. Oh, we took over Muscova. And uh, we'll send our general back, hopefully soon enough. Let's see, how many are we losing a day? Let's let's drop the speed a little bit to two speed so we can actually see. Okay, good. They're losing way more than us. Come on, roll good, roll good. All right, roll, roll, roll your ass off, man. Come on, Hector, you can roll better than that. 
Good. Zero. Seriously? Come on. I mean, look at that. 3,000. Jesus. Good rolls. Good rolls. Five. Three. Okay. I mean, at least you're matching them. Nine. Nice roll. Nice roll. Look at that. We're going to send these guys scurrying. All 200,000 of them. And then we're going to have 40,000 reinforcements coming in. Just perfect. Keep on fucking them up. Three. Uh, you could do better, but... I mean, we have enough troops now. We're going to win. So, bye-bye, Russians. Oh, we keep losing against these damn... The damn Danish... Probably build more units now. Yeah, we lost about 20,000. Send these guys up here. How are my vassals over here? It looks like they're almost done with France. Is this back to regular France? It looks like the, the flag went back. So they're no longer revolutionary France, apparently. It probably has something to do with us occupying their entire country. The revolutionary was not able to just take hold permanently, I guess. But man, look at those look at those numbers. 13, 13, 3. We lost three men that day. And they, they must yeah, because we rolled an eight and they rolled a two. Oh, but then they rolled an eight and we rolled a three. Well you shitheads. We'll recall that guy from Civil War, I guess. Twenty six war score for one battle, Jesus. Alright. Let's uh let's pause. I'm gonna put the speed up to five, but uh, we're gonna pause for the second. All right, let's see if we can't make them actually. If is this, if that's even an option to make them return course. Oh, there's one. Oh God, this is gonna be so hard to find them. Oh, it's in alphabetical order. Jesus Christ, thank you. So, Slavics. You know what? We're just going to have to wait. Let's take our navy here and go kill the Russian navy. I guess we'll just retreat. And looks at look at those vassals coming in, bringing in the cavalry. Awesome. All right, so let's uh, let's just split up over here. All right, we'll just seize these provinces with the arm with the big army here, but we'll spread out so that we don't kill everybody. Keep losing battles, but here comes the uh, here comes our allies. Send these guys over to the Borg. Yep, bye bye Denmark. You'll no longer be a pest to me or my allies. Nope. Let's go and attack this Russian fleet, for God's sake. It's going to be so cool. Check it out. We have full 100% trade power, I think, now. No, because there's still little fuckers over here but stealing it from us, but whatever. We have 86%. We make 43 ducats out of that thing. That's nice. 48. That's even better than London and uh, even better than Antwerp. Is Sevilla, yeah, better than Sevilla, too. Man, that's nice. Oh well. The stupid Russian fleet keeps, uh, keeps avoiding me.
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split in half and then we'll both attack at the same time. So then from both of these provinces we'll attack. Alright. There we go. Bye bye Russian fleet. There, now I think we can take on Denmark's 46 by themselves. Shouldn't be that hard. Alright, so uh, with all this stuff returned to uh, to Finland, that'll be great. Uh, lose 10 legitimacy and gain a bunch of money? Yeah, sure. Why not? We, only, we already have 100. It's not getting any better. The Ottomans are over here sieging. Let's show them how bad an idea that is. Oh, it looks like they got a little bit of morale. That sucks. I would have rather done it without any of them. It looks like we killed it anyways. But man, look at that. We are winning this war so hard. Do we have we have we don't even have the max war gold stuff. But anyways, that's kind of about it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is going to probably... We're going to start wrapping up the war with Russia and be done with it pretty soon next episode. So I hope you'll join me then. I'll see you guys then, obviously. <laughs> Spray and pray out.